Hi, first graders. I have a Bible story that I'd like to share with you today. We're going to stop having Bible stories from the Old Testament, and we're going to move into the New Testament and start learning about Jesus and his life here on earth. The story I'd like to share with you is the parable of the Good Samaritan by Helen Caswell. The Bible says that we should love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Once, someone asked Jesus, but who is my neighbor? To answer the question, Jesus told the story of the Good Samaritan. One day, a man was walking along between the towns of Jerusalem and Jericho. It was a very scary place. The road went steeply downhill through the wild, rocky country that everyone knew was full of robbers. Suddenly, a band of these robbers attacked the man and beat him and stole everything he had even his clothes. Thinking they had killed him, the robbers rode off into the wilderness. The man lay unconscious at the side of the road, face down in the dust. After a while, his eyes opened, but he was too badly hurt to get up or even to cry out. Then he saw a priest coming along the road toward him. The priest was from the church the man went to in Jerusalem. He will help me, the man thought. But as the priest came closer, he crossed over to the other side of the road and wouldn't even look at the man lying there. The man could hardly believe it, and he turned his head as far as he could to watch the priest walking away from him. More time passed, and finally someone else came along the road. It turned out to be a Levite, a very important person in the church in Jerusalem. But the Levite crossed over to the other side of the road and walked right on past, pretending not to see him just as the priest had. So the Levite disappeared down the road. The injured man wept his tears into the dust. He knew that he would die if someone didn't help him soon. As he lay there helpless, he heard the soft sound of hoofs and the cheerful jingle of harnesses. He looked up and saw a man riding toward him on a donkey. As the rider came closer, the injured man could see by the kind of clothing he wore that he was a Samaritan. Now the injured man was Jewish, and the Jews and the Samaritans didn't even speak to each other. So that man thought that if the priest and the Levite hadn't stopped, the Samaritan certainly wouldn't stop either. But wonder of wonders, when the Samaritan saw the man lying beside the road, he pulled his donkey to a stop, got off, and knelt over the wounded man, shaking his head in sympathy. Then from his saddlebags, the Samaritan took some cloth and jars of oil and wine. He poured oil and wine over the man's wounds to clean them and help them to heal, and he bound them up with the linen cloth. Then, very carefully, the Samaritan lifted the man up and put him on the donkey. Walking along beside them, the Samaritan went along the road until they came to the town, and there they stopped at an inn. The Samaritan got a room at the inn and made the injured man comfortable. He watched over him all night and the next day. When he had to go on his way, he left money with the innkeeper to pay for the man to stay until he was well enough to travel. Jesus told this story because he wanted us to understand that our neighbors are not just the people who live next door. When the Bible says that we should love our neighbors as we love ourselves, it means that we should love anyone who needs loving. Now, first graders, I'd like to, you to talk about this a little bit more with your parents. They can um, even maybe share with you a little bit how the Samaritans and the Jews didn't get along. And that's why this story, um, this parable was so important to share. Thank you. See you later. Bye.